All right, we're going to steam paint a carpet with the brand new, and when we're done, we're going to do the floor as well, uh, if everything works out right, and we're going to make a video of the floor and the carpet. A lot of people have been wanting to see us clean carpets with this thing, so we actually got a job from a paying customer here. Uh, yeah, it's nice when they pay. Well, but this is this is where we're not just doing it in our living room, our hallway carpet for free. This is a real job. You can make, you can get real work with these things, work for customers, and they do a fantastic job. You'll see. Now I don't know what that lighting is going to look like from that window, but. Most of the room will look pretty good, but that might blow out on the camera. We don't know what the camera's like because we're using a different camera than normal. Getting used to a camera. Yeah, I'll put link. I'll put a link in the video description. It's two to praise on, on site, and uh, that's going to be your best. Uh, probably your number one place you want to buy this is direct from Dupre. Uh, I sell them on Amazon too, but Dupre actually sells them. They're shipped and sold. It ships. It's, it's sold by Dupre on Amazon, so you're not really saving money because um, it's the same price everywhere. Yeah, there'll be a Dupre link to sell, if you want to buy one of these things, and you can call, you know, if you get it on Amazon, you don't get to talk to customer service of Dupre. They may hook you up on a deal. It's always worth going through Dupre. Well, I don't make no promises for what they may or may not do, but... Um, I'll go, the link I usually put up is not just directly to the neat, but it's to the main page and you just hit on uh, steam cleaners uh, at the top and you can see all their models and Dupre is basically it's their entry level um, machine so you can look at the, the ones just above that or depending on what kind of use you're going to get out of it. If you're going to use it to clean you know, commercial kitchens and stuff like that, you probably want to get something a little more powerful but their whole line is going to be there. And if you go to the top, uh, you can find accessories by model. So if you're wanting to get some accessories for your uh, need or another Dupre steamer, you'll find all those there. Now a lot of people ask us, how does this work? What it does is you put a bonnet or cloth on the on the floor plate, and when the steam hits the carpet, it brings up all the dirt and debris. Yeah, it's first. attracted to the heat. And the, yeah, the heat attracts it, and it goes right into the cloth. It yeah. just works. It's a uh, it's science. Don't ask me to explain it. It just works. Trust us. Yeah. You see it working, so you know it works. We, we have a, a playlist on our channel for neat videos, and you can see we've cleaned some pretty dirty carpets. Really dirty carpets. With this. Now, a lot of people a lot of people tell you you can't really clean carpets with a steamer. Well, you can. But uh, you can re freshen a carpet up, but they say for cleaning, you have to use an extractor. But the, the companies that say that, they sell extractors. They don't sell. They, well, they, they sell, sell extractors. Steamers. They sell steamers and extractors. But they're the extractors. But they want you to buy. Big money. So yeah, they want you to buy an extractor too. Make sure you're showing this because it's oh, yeah. beautiful looking. Okay, I'm gonna have to change sides. Let me move the thing a little bit. Just a but bit. Uh, you can clean carpets with these. Yeah. But even though the manufacturers try to say just freshen up carpets, about all you can do. We've cleaned some really bad ones with these things. We've done hundreds of carpets with this. Yeah, hundreds. they work good. Now yeah. the carpets actually generally are dry moments after you finish steaming an area because uh, they, they're putting down a, a, a vapor. It's 275 degrees, so it doesn't, it doesn't leave a lot of um, dampness behind. It dries well, up pretty one fast. One of the reasons we like this is we do low moisture painting. Uh, if you guys know who we are, we normally clean things with a yeah, just check our channel and you but can this see. Is, this, is, this is still low moisture, and it's low moisture with the, the steam of a truck, the heat of a truck mount, yeah. which makes it very unique. Well, 275 degrees is actually one of the uh, lowest temperature steamers to Dupre sells. Uh, but if you look at uh, steamers like McCullough and things like that, they're close to 200 to 220. So this is quite a bit warmer. Uh, and it's a drier steam, so. It's 95% uh, steam and 5% water. So they say. It is. It, that's the rumor. Well, that's what they. That's how but they pretty, say. So a lot of times, if you if you looked on Amazon at the reviews, you tell people complain that if you, you know, if you have your hand a few inches away from the steam, it's not even hot. Well, so you, they, it's a contact steamer. Well, they think that. Uh, so they think they got something wrong with their steamer that's just putting out, uh, you know, real cold steam like a cool mist dehumidifier or cool mist humidifier. There's there's the proof. Okay, that's wait, what wait, turn it like. this way. This is what it looks like. And this is just one little room. 
that's what it looks like typically. Imagine if we did three or four rooms or a whole house. Yeah, well, that's the thing that's nice about this. You don't really have to change the cloth out because it's still just attracting dirt. Yeah. I'm going gonna... to pause here because he has to change to we're a floor change pad. change to a microfiber bonnet for the floors. Yeah. We'll be right back. You don't want to hear him when he touches that hot pad. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back, so stay tuned. All right, we're back. He changed out to a, one of the microfiber pads. Oh yeah, I changed out to this too. Yeah, it comes with the machine. I think they give you they two give or three you, of them. I think they give you three. Two but or three. We thought when we first got them, like three pads, we're going to run through those in a week. But we've been using this. I've used this pad a hundred times. Yeah, you just, you just wash them. They don't wear out. You only need three because... Uh, yeah, you just throw in your washing machine. And yeah, pretty much. And you go pretty fast with this. The good thing about this is when you have like soda, like Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, whatever, it's your, or pancake syrup, the sticky syrup just comes right, I mean, as fast as I'm going, trust me, syrup's coming right off the floor. Oh, and this is not a wood floor or a laminate. It's a vinyl. Or a uh, engineer, this is just a vinyl, a sheet vinyl they put down. So, we don't recommend doing a... Engineered floors and floating floors just because they have such thin. We don't recommend them, but we would if we had permission from the customer. Well, or we didn't have to take responsibility. Then for they, they're just real thin layers of plastic, and if you overheat them, they can start to delaminate. Yeah, so. you gotta be careful with engineer, engineered floors, but. Yeah, and then if you got a wood floor that's not sealed, you might want to be careful. Uh, the the rule is just keep the head moving. If you go too slow with the head, anyway, you'll end up having lots of condensation. Move this back. Oh, by the way, there's the uh, there's the pad we used to uh, do the bedroom. That's not bad for one room. Not too shabby. That's a lot of dirt. Well, it's the carpets didn't even. It's hard to pull that much dirt up when the, you bonnet clean. Yeah, the carpets didn't even look that, that like they were all that dirty. No, so. they didn't, but they were deceptively dirty. Yeah, there's always more in there than you think there's going to be. Now, of course, this comes with all the accessories you need to clean, like your stoves and your ovens and grills and all your bathroom. Now, we show this because this is what we use the machine for. Yeah, you can clean all the fixtures in your bathroom and you can clean all your kitchen. You can clean windows and yeah. fast coffee tables and whatever you can do. You can clean your engine on your car. One nice thing that, uh, that I use it for around the house is I like to clean the mattress pillows and, and things like that because I... I can wash the pillowcases, but the pillows are a different story, and I like being able to just steam them, and uh, it just freshens them up. So you'd be surprised how many things you can do if you have a good steamer. Okay, you'll want to walk up there. Yeah. Cause uh, I'm gonna go across the living room. Yeah, we don't really show a lot of different things with this because we basically just clean you carpets and floors. Kind of stay ahead of me. Well, I'll, show from the, I'll stay. I gotta stay on this side of you until you get moving a little bit. Then we get here done, and you can move in this area where I'm at. Yeah, it'd be perfect. It's not taking all that long for us to just clean. Well, I've cleaned a lot of floors with an orbital machine or a buffer. This is so much faster. Yeah. You're getting every bit of cleaning you're on with one of those machines. And you don't need any chemicals. No, this is, oh yeah, this is all chemical free. Yeah, you can see steam coming off of it when it's in the sun, but it's kind of hard to see it in most places because it's, the lighting just isn't perfect for steam cleaning, but it'll... Of course you can clean, uh, like sofas and upholstered chairs. Actually, you can clean hard chairs too. Great for area rugs, especially those area rugs that if you try to put a rotary or over machine on them, they want to jump all over the place with you. This will go right over the... Oh yeah, like a... An like, area rug is as thin as paper, this will clean. Yeah, easily. like the shower mat when you step out of the shower. Yeah. Usually it's so light you can't even vacuum it because it'll suck right up into your vacuum cleaner, but these things are great for Don't giving that a good up. clean. Yeah, you can steam it pretty good. and They're usually rubber backed and it won't hurt the uh, rubber backing. No, I, I suppose know. if you left it on there for like 20 minutes in one spot, you might start getting the rubber too soft, but generally you're fine. The big thing with these is just keep them moving and, uh, you know, 
And they, they do a lot of cleaning, but just keep them moving and don't stay in one spot too Yeah, long. like on an engineered floor, if you keep moving like I am, you can, you can probably safely do them. We just don't recommend it. A lot of people do them. We don't do it, and we don't recommend it. But no, but you can if you just keep the thing going and don't let nothing, the heat build up in one area. Hey, right. if you have one of these and it's your house, you can do whatever you want. Sure. We're not going to take a chance on somebody's floor. Well, we don't tell people to do it. No. Because, so, uh... Oh, and I don't know if I finished what I was saying. It, the, the, the steam, if you I'm get your hands, kitchen. okay, the steam, if you get your hands, if a hand a few inches from the uh, tip, it's not going to be hot because the uh, uh, it's not wet enough to be hot. Now, steamers that don't go quite as hot as this, they can burn you from a foot or two away. But these are vapor because they're, they're warm enough, they vaporize, and so you don't have all that dampness uh, like you do with some steamers. Go so, ahead and walk to the kitchen Stand right in front of there. And yeah, I'll stand here. coming out. It's, it's too dark. Right. Well, someone has a target. <laughs> someone took a cart home. <laughs> took a what? A, 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 a right target there. cart. I'll do that real area and I'll just move in there. Alright. Okay. Let me step in. Well, you there, you want to clean up your refrigerator for him? No, but I saw something sticky just come up. I saw some soda. It didn't show on camera, but I saw it. I promise, it works. I've taken up black marks for people's uh, black sole shoes. It just takes them up. Not always, but it can. I was just trying to clean something that was built into the floor, and I just realized that I thought it was a stain, but it's part of the floor work. Probably a fake knot hole. It's a fake, like a fake cut into the floor or something. Yeah, makes you think you have a wood floor when you don't. Well, that's that's if, if they're good, they look they look real. These are actually pretty decent looking. Yeah, they're good. I mean, if you know they're vinyl, then you know they're vinyl. But as far as looks go, they they uh they pull it off pretty good. Looks good on video at least. Now, if you use one of these and your floor streaks when you're done, it's not the steamer. It's either because you used hard water. Or it's because someone mopped it before and left the chemical on the on the floor, and uh, that created a, a a swirl. If the water, if the floors are clean and the water's clean, you, you it, it's strict free cleaning all the way. All right, show the pad. Show what the bottom of the pad looks this like. This probably won't show so much. Yeah, some dirt. That's how it's supposed to look. Yeah, that's how it looks. We didn't bring a new but one. This to place is mopped to. all the time. This guy, yeah, this guy's this guy pretty cares good. for his house. Yeah, he's a pretty good housekeeper. So. Here's, here's that one, here's that one. So we got, I mean, it, it with a hard floor like this, you could build up that much dirt in a week if you, you know, and he's got a dog, so <clears throat> they probably track a lot of stuff in because he takes it for several walks a day, so. Oh yeah. He's he constantly has, tracking stuff in. He has a young in. puppy. Yeah. So long well, that, we're not going to do his dining room because that's where he put all, <laughs> he moved all his stuff in here. Um, I think, uh. He wanted us to do it, and we told him we'd be there in about 15 minutes, and he, he basically did everything fast. So but if you look ready. at the floor, there's no streaks or nothing. No. These things do a beautiful job. They're perfect. Yeah, they these are. floors aren't supposed to shine, really. So. And they dry faster than if you use a buffer. Or a All right, machine. one last look at the carpets. Yeah, let me reach down and see how wet they are. Let's see here. Well, I'll just have to take your word. Oh, you can lay down on it and go to sleep. It's, it's dry. Yeah, they, they, dry, dry they, they, they dry in 10 seconds. Of course, it's a nice day, too. It's sunny, and it's not, you know... On on cold days in the winter, it may take it does take a little longer to get moisture off. Of Only if you put a lot of steam in it. The car, yeah. carpet's dry in 15 seconds. All right. That was just a quick a quick one. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're going to try to make more neat videos. We haven't made a lot in the last couple of years. Uh, we just felt like people seen... All they want to see of it for the time being and now we've had a lot of people asking for them we so. have so many people want to see them we're going to start start trying to make a quite a few of them yeah there's tons and tons and tons of stolen neat videos on youtube so uh you'll probably see this on several different channels that'll spring yeah, up about a year from now you see it 10 different places but this is the original the so. anyway hope you guys like that thanks for watching and we'll try to put something else up pretty soon see you later